Here's the last video I uploaded. Van life, how to grow your channel, one way relationships, fake supporters, friends, standing out. This is a response to Oliver. I won't say your whole channel name. You left a long comment and I think you erased it. YouTube could have erased it, but I think you did. It was a long comment. I read all of it and I want to take this time to respond to it. You hit the nail on the head. I do these videos off the top of my head. This was after work. I just turned the camera on because I had thoughts to share. And you basically said what I wanted to say, but I didn't have the words for it at the time. A lot of these van channels, they treat their subscribers like cash machines, and it's a one-way relationship. They like to preach community, like if you donate $2 to me, you're part of my community, so you know you need to pay them so you could feel like you're a part of something. Your comment was really good, man, and that's why I want to take this time to respond to you, so I hope you're watching this. I was ready to type out a response, but I do these videos because I know a lot of people are thinking the way I do and the way you do. The whole van hobby is really cool, but there's so much BS to it now, unfortunately. It's a lot of people like seeing that this is a trend and they're doing it in hopes that they don't have to work a real job ever again. And they're hope hoping for a big channel and you've got all my references about showing your behind and cute pets. So I hope you're watching this buddy. I did read, I read every single comment and I saw your comment in my uh, in my Gmail in my notifications so there's my response to you man I hope you stick around uh, feel free to uh, email me automotive vlog at gmail.com if you ever want to talk so check this out I want to share a few other oh let me just say this you also talk about authenticity in your comment and people like making van life super spectacular like they're over glorifying it well this is one of my favorite videos that I, I ever made it was a quick what is it one minute 35 second video one person didn't like it leave a comment why you didn't like it I like comments and I take criticism my friend James he told me my video quality sucks so I bought another camera once I saw that they were $100, he told me this like two years ago. I'm like, I'm not going to buy a nice camera yet. I don't got money. But once I saw nice cameras were 100 bucks, I'm like, okay, I'll buy a, a nice camera. So I do listen to criticism. So I like this video a lot because this is when I met my friend Jose PhD. He told me don't sleep at any of the motels or hotels in his area that aren't nice because, uh, yeah, someone's going to break into your van. So... I looked up nicer hotels in his area and it was 200 a night for a nice hotel. So I told my girlfriend, listen, you don't have to go with me on this trip. It's going to be 100 degrees by 8 a.m. and I don't want you sleeping in a hot van. I'm not paying $200 to sleep in a hotel for 8 hours and then I'm getting kicked out because, you know, we arrive at midnight or 2 in the morning or whatever. And I told her, I'm not letting you pay $200 either. She was a trooper, and she slept in my van, and that's what my video is about. Save $200, my girlfriend's a trooper, and I'm proud of her. This is the reality of van life, sleeping at random Flying J's. You know, it's not spectacular, but it's fun to me. And I was very proud to save $200, so... I like to... Sh I think people enjoy that, because the uh, van life isn't about going to the beach every second of your life taking a picture of your behind and there's flying unicorns and rainbows all over the place this is van life to me it's a it's a journey it's an adventure it's meeting friends so I think that's why people appreciated this video I saw a few new faces in the comments when I made this video and one more thing I would like to share before I head to work today I'm gonna get a quick workout in before I uh, head to work I'll have an hour to work out but this is a sports mobile van, okay? Take a look at it. The average person, non-car non -car enthusiast, will just think it's a van with some fancy stuff bolted onto it. So, check out the price of this, okay? Take a guess. Take a guess how much this is going to cost. Take a second, okay? So, the front of Econolines, they're still made. 
they're still made for RVs and U-Haul trucks, commercial applications. But what Sports Mobile does now, if you look at the body, it's like an inch or two wider than a actual Econoline. So they made an Econoline body in-house and recreated the Econoline van. Econoline vans, the van itself, like this style, hasn't been made since uh, 2014. So Sports Mobile recreated it. How much do you think this thing costs? Take a guess. Leave it in the comments. Okay, ready? Here's the price of this thing with all the all the goodies. And um it's crazy. Look at that. Where is it? Where is it? One hundred seventy five thousand dollars to two hundred twenty five thousand dollars. That's the price. Now this video I made of the enthusiast van meet, I titled it Poor Man's sports mobile vans uh... A f poor man's budget sport mobile vans can't afford a quigley this is how we roll <laughs> so this is a hold fast and this is me so once i put the bigger tires on i'll look i'll look even closer to a sport mobile van i have the awning like the one in the um... picture not a full length awning because i'm poor but yeah see this is how we roll we got the imitation sport mobile vans but you know what holdfast paid 11 grand for his van i have about 12 grand into my van right now maybe about 13 12 13 grand so for 12 for 11 grand right here and about 13 grand we have the sport mobile look <laughs> for like one one hundredth of the price one tenth of the price i mean it looks very similar it's just a lifted van I mean, this one's four-wheel drive, but, you know, four-wheel drive conversions, big books. So, see? Very similar look. The average person isn't going to know. And you know what? If you're an enthusiast, a car enthusiast, you're going to be like, man, your vans look cool. I need a lift for my van now. You guys got something going on here. All right, everyone. Have a great Tuesday. Going to pump some iron right now and head to work.